In this video, I will be going over the different laws of logarithms. I want you to note that I won't be going over the change of base law, so if you want to learn about that, you'll have to reference one of my future videos. So anyway, over here I have the three laws of indices listed, the multiplication law, the division law, and the power law. Now understanding these laws isn't necessarily difficult, the difficult part is being able to recall them when you're solving questions involving logarithms, and in order to do that you have to know them very well. So I'll be going over each of these and explaining them pretty thoroughly so that you understand them and that you'll be able to call upon them when you need to. So our first law is the multiplication law. It states that log base a of x times y is equal to log base a of x plus log base a of y. And I'll show you what this looks like with an example. Let's say that we have ln of 5 plus ln of 10. Now if we remember ln is just log to the base e. So anyway, we know that both of these have the same base or the same value for a, therefore we can simply multiply these two values together. And that gives us ln of 5 times 10, or which can also be written as ln of 50. Another example we can look at, let's take lg, if you remember, lg is basically log to the base of 10. So if we take lg of 5 and add lg of 20 to this, so plus lg of 20, we get lg of 5 times 20, which is equal to lg of 100 and since we know that LG is log base 10 so log base 10 of 100 this means that 10 to the power of what number is 100 we know that 10 squared is 100 so this is equal to 2 okay so our next law is known as the division law and this states that log base a of x divided by y is equal to log base a of x minus log base a of y. And this law is also pretty intuitive. I'll go over an example for this as well to help you understand it. Let's say if we have ln of, let's say, 15, and we're taking or subtracting ln of um, 5, this is equal to ln of 15 divided by 5 because we are subtracting this number from this number and we get ln of 3 as our final answer, as our simplified answer. Now we should note that if instead of ln over here, if we had written lg of 15 then we wouldn't have been able to do any of this because LG and LN do not have the same basis or value of A. So both logarithms have to have the same value of A if we want to be able to apply this law. Last but not least, we have the power law. The power law states that log base A of any number X taken to the power M is equal to M times log base A of X. So what we essentially did is we just moved the m from up here, from the power, to in front of the whole entire equation. And once again, I'll show you what this looks like. Let's say that we have to simplify the expression 1 over 2 times log base 5 of 49. The coefficient of our logarithm can be taken as the power of this thing, so we get log base 5 of 49, let's change up the colors here, but let's say this is 1 over 2, it's the power of 1 over 2. And we know that 49 to the power of 1 over 2 is the same thing as the square root of 7, or the square root of 49, so we get the square root of 
49, which is equal to log base 5 of 7. And this is our simplified answer. Let's look at one more example. Let's say we have log base, let's say 3 of 1 over 5, of 1 over 5. I'm very inconsistent with these colors. Anyway, this is already a pretty simple equation, but let's say that we want to express it differently. Let's say that we don't want any fractions inside of our logarithm. Well, we know that 1 over 5 is the same thing as saying 5 to the power of negative 1. And that's using the law 1 over a, a to the n is equal to a to the power of negative n. That's covered in my video on indices, or on the laws of indices. Anyway, I'm saying anyway a lot. So this is equal to log base 3 of 5 to the power of negative 1. And using this power law, we know that so we take the power of the thing or the number inside of our log, and we can bring that around. So we can rewrite this as negative log base 3. So we get negative log base 3 of 5. So from this we can take that any number log base a of 1 over n is equal to negative log base a of n using this rule and doing and then using the power rule as well. So let's look back at all three of the rules. We have our multiplication rule right here, we have our division rule, and we have our power rule. So understanding these rules, as I mentioned earlier, isn't very difficult. They're all pretty intuitive. All you have to do now is just remember these different rules, and the only difficult part about them is is being able to recognize when they're being used or when they need to be used in equations involving logarithms. And as you start solving more and more logarithmic equations, it, calling upon these different laws will become pretty natural. You just have to make sure that you remember all three of them.